Rev up your engine! Now, if you're like me, you're really annoyed when it's time to get tires for your car. You gotta go to the tire store. They tell you it's gonna be five or six hours because they're busy. Even it only takes a few minutes to get a tire off a rim. What can you do about it? Here's some guys that actually come to your house to put tires on your car in your driveway. And here they come. They're backing it up. Talk about delivery to your house. Literally, right to my driveway. Let's take a look inside. They got a balancing machine, they got a tire machine, they got everything they need. Compressed air, it's an interesting setup. We look inside, there's the tires that are going on, and here come my brand new Michelin tires. Well, my wife's car anyway. They have it set up so it can all be done safely in your driveway. They're using these nice pneumatic jacks that are extremely safe. They got so much ground clearance on them, they're not going to flip over. The electric impact wrench, they're self-contained here. Nothing beats a hydraulic jack, boy. They're fast, easy to use, and really safe. On goes their compressor that's in the machine. They don't even need to hook up to your house. It's a completely self-contained setup. And with these pneumatic jacks, they can do both sides at once. Up goes the front. And since it's all self-enclosed, they don't even need to plug into your house. They can do it right in your driveway. Taking the old weights off, he knows what he's doing. Last guy didn't do that, and they wobbled. <laughs> <laughs> the machine is all enclosed in the truck. You see, he's locking it in place. Down comes the D-beater. And around and around and around it goes. To the other side comes. Look, it's like being at the dentist. Little lubrication. Gonna pull it right off. And off it comes. Then a nice shiny rim, the part you never get to see. Well, guess what? Now you're gonna see it. Look at that. Nice and shiny. What a waste that's covered up by a tire. They say. If you don't lube it, it's not gonna go on right and it might leak. On goes the new one. On goes the new tire. Don't try this at home yourself. And now it's time to balance it. You don't want shaking tires. Notice he's taking all the old stuff off, which some people forget to do. The stock tire stores. The guy had no idea what he was doing. He didn't lube it. The tire ended up leaking and it destroyed the tire. And it goes on a balancing machine. Lock in place, nice and safe. And now we look at the screen. Everything's computer run these days, even the balancers. As you can see on the computer screen, it tells them where to put the weights and how much weights to put on. No guesswork here. This one. Now we're 25% done. You can just see the difference when a professional does it. You're not getting some minimum wage flunkies working on your car, which is the last thing that you want. I had it happen to me at one of those discount places and I never, ever went back. I still can't believe it. They're putting the tires on my wife's car in the driveway and doing a professional job. Now, so far these guys are in Dallas, Kansas City, and Houston, but they're planning on expanding. Think about it. You get rid of the giant overhead of a store, be mobile for people's convenience, everybody's winning in this deal. Now, two brothers started this company about five years ago, and it's an American success story. Come up with a good idea, believe me, it's gonna fly. Everyone hates going to tire stores. They make you wait for five or six hours. You got old magazines you don't want to read that are sitting there. And one of the big advantages of guys like this is they're selling you tires, nothing more. They're not going to come and say, you need struts, you need ball joints, you need all this, you need a power steering flush. They're selling you tires, they do a good job, and then they leave, and everyone's happy. Now there's one side done. And now they're working on the other. Look, they become like me. They're shade tree mechanics using my big shade tree. And you want quality tires? Check it out. Made in USA. These are not Chinese tires. And these guys are smart. They got a central warehouse. They buy direct from the manufacturer. Let's see you need tires. You can call them up. They got to deal with the manufacturer. The next day, that manufacturer is going to have that tire at their warehouse. And they can come put it on your car in your own driveway. Thanks, on guys. to the next job. Yep. 
And here's some bonus questions and answers. Mike B says, I got a 2010 Honda Accord with bad paint. I bought it new in 2010. Now the paint's coming off the door, peeling off. I contacted American Honda. They said they'd pay for half of the paint job. I'd have to pay for the rest. Here's the problem. is What they're going to charge for a paint job is probably going to be so astronomical. Maybe six, seven thousand dollars or something, right? And you pay half. Hey, you can go someplace and have a guy painted for that. They're not giving you any kind of a deal on it. The problem was Honda painted those cars in 2010 crappy. I believe that's when they started switching to water-based paint. And the problem with the early water-based paint was they didn't know what the heck they were doing and they all flake off. Off like that. I see lots of Hondas like that. And the only way to fix it is to strip it down to the bare metal, reprime it, repaint the whole thing. And that costs a small fortune. Now, if you see what Honda wants, if you want to fix it, go ahead. It's a 10 year old car now. If your half is thousands and thousands of dollars, go to a regular paint guy, see what he charged to strip it and repaint it and go from there. Because Johnny, the dealers, they're not going to give you any kind of a deal. If Honda says they'll pay for half, they'll just jack the price up of the job and maybe even do a sloppy job because, you know, if they're only getting paid half, then maybe they'll do a sloppy job. See, though, I mean, if you're going to pay less than a grand, go right ahead. But if it's more, Go to a regular paint shop and see what those guys say. But they're going to have to strip it because that's that water-based paint. It was crap paint. They never made it right in the first place. Aegis 9 says, Scotty is a YouTube genius. It's actually not genius at all because I've been fixing cars for 52 years. And it wasn't a genius idea to help people on the internet. It was quite an obvious one. It's like in my grandfather's day, it was a mechanic. People loved them. He fixed people's cars. My father, who ran the garage, would get mad at my grandfather because he didn't charge him enough money. But he didn't care about that. He just liked people and helping them out. He was an old country boy from the country originally. He could only help the people that came to the garage. How many people come to a garage? Not that many, right? Well, I can now help billions of people. So I love it. It, was, it wasn't a move of genius, though. It was just an obvious move. There's a space. People want information, and I'm giving it. For me to continue to help people with honest stuff and not being backed by a bunch of advertising, that makes my advice a line of baloney like a lot of other people you see on the internet and every they start out with this video was sponsored by well that means they're getting paid to tell you generally a pack of lies well i'm not that type of guy so <laughs> it doesn't take a genius to do it, it just takes somebody with little integrity <laughs> Dylan says, how often to change Honda automatic transmission fluid? All right. They tell you all kinds of stories, but with the new ones, especially the CVT, personally, I'm changing every 30, 40,000 miles myself because the Hondas are easy to do. They got a drain plug. You take it out. Three quarts or so comes out. You measure what comes out. You put the drain plug back in, and there's an add one. You take that little bolt off, and you pump in the same amount that came out of new fluid and use the Honda fluid. It's really designed correctly. The Honda engineers are excellent engineers. Use the one that they build them with. Don't mess with some other one just because it's cheaper. It doesn't cost that much for the fluid. When you find out a transmission overhaul is three to five thousand dollars, are you really going to care about saving three dollars a quart of fluid when it only holds three? No, you, you, we shouldn't. Mark Ryan says, Scotty, what do you think of Mobile One synthetic oil? Okay, they were one of the first big synthetic oils. And they were real top of the line. They still make good synthetic oil. But so do a lot of other companies. At one time, they were like the only game in town. And I'm not a race guy. I don't race cars for a living. But I have customers that do. And they told me years ago they really liked the Mobile One. But then they switched to other ones because they said they changed something. And they don't know what changed because nobody even tells you. They wouldn't even tell me what's in the stuff, right? But they said, and I believe them, because they would have oil pressure and temperature gauges on their race cars. And they'd find out that the oil temperature started running hotter with the Mobile Oil. And it didn't used to. So they switched to things like Redline, which is a more expensive synthetic oil, and they found that the temperature went down. Well, why would they lie to me? And if that's the case, obviously the Redline was better than a Mobile One for their application of high speed, high revs, because they said they used the same oil. They didn't change anything in a vehicle, and the temperature was going down, which means the Redline was better for racing. So, you know, it depends on what you need. But normal wear and tear driving and anybody going down a road, driving normal transportation on the road, highway in town. Any synthetic oil sold in the United States is a decent oil, you know? A lot of that's just people, they're marketing, brand marketing and stuff. So you don't get stuck on one brand. They're all decent oils. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.